Land redistribution is the application for land of which a person or community was once deprived of before. It is one of the main vehicles of addressing the inequality of apartheid. One such property is Huduza, formerly known as Battlezen. It is a farm situated in the Kume Valley, originally owned by the Atwell family during the 1800s until 1972, when it became the property of the government. In 2000, the land was then given to the community of Huduza. The farm represented a potential shining beacon for land redistribution, as it had existing infrastructure to become a future profit-making citrus farm. For example, Battles Den was already a, cit a citrus project. Um, so that citrus project, in trying to, or in knowing rather that it has a certain potential, right, uh, it can produce a certain amount uh, of oranges, which can be export quality. So you know these things. What is the potential of then that project? And most importantly, how can it influence the people that actually stay there? In 2000, under the redistribution branch of land reform, an audit for the Department of Land Affairs formed a communal property association, CPA, and a business plan to set up a transition so the Citrus project could be up and running by fostering a strategic partnership between the CPA, Agribusiness Riverside, and the government to work together to realize the potential of the farm. One of the biggest problems with land reform is a lack of post-settlement support, both for restitution as well as for, for um, redistribution projects. Okay. So when people get their land back that they lost, um, which is part of the restitution process, or people who didn't have land before and applied for land through the redistribution uh, program, when they move onto that land, there's very little state support. Dumile Katjana is critical of the lack of state support. Having lived on the farm for 60 years, he has seen it thrive. If farmer go to the right, cool. Yes, yes. Why sabenz is a long, long, but it was sabenz a gauche farmer. Can get a bana kutala lay to Usniki limfundi so yok sabenz farmer. The agribusiness Riverside is meant to assist emerging black farmers to give them access to markets by sharing knowledge to allow for rural and community development. And the big thing for us is that we want to transfer the skills to the communities that we want to uplift them. So our big idea is that we want to commercialize the, the black farmers. So we don't want them to stay in a position that they don't learn. So our big focus is that we want to transfer skills and that they can, on the end of the day, be successful farmers themselves. Riverside's wish for successful black-owned farms has been put into question due to the decline of the farm under the mentorship of Riverside. The government has also failed to offer adequate post-settlement support, such as management, training, and extension services. On behalf of the community, Mr. Katjana organized an affidavit of 90 members to remove Riverside as a partner to the farm. The affidavit was meant to petition the state to play an active role on the farm. However, the state never followed up on the complaints of the community. Riverside so the project was designed to lead to the development of the community as a whole through skills and infrastructure development and other community initiatives. They did ha initially ha seem to have the, the, the right people, um, skilled people. As I said, people who had been tractor drivers, foremen, 
who had been involved in, in the management of the actual um, citrus groves. So they, when the CPA was set up initially, the people, there was enough expertise. Um, the women were involved in this vegetable project and, it, and there seemed to be a whole uh, enthusiasm and, uh, and uh, ambition to make it work. That seems to have faded away. Community projects targeted at women empowerment were created to foster inclusion and create income through a vegetable garden. However, the vegetable garden has now collapsed and there is no inclusion of women on the board of the CPA. Riverside's partnership with the CPA is meant to develop skills and foster employment for community members. However, there seems to be a lack of planning of how to get this done, as Riverside outsources workers to work with them instead of hiring community members. At this moment on the community itself, we don't offer any trainings. Um, the most that we do is on, on the job training and then we look for people that we can introduce to the farm. If there's anyone in the community that ticks the boxes, we gladly take them on and train them. Um, but yeah, it's difficult to find people inside the community which um, is not eager to, to learn what's needed. Um, there is people, but it's difficult to find them. Difficulty in finding invested community members seems to be far from true, as community members feel that Riverside's outsourcing disadvantages them. They feel if Riverside prioritized training community members, they would be better off. project <coughs> Usukela 2000 and done, 2001. 2001. I could condo Sino Lata Emio Nale Lenda Yokalmiti. Ka Lenda Babe Kalagui or Konix. It is quite clear the project isn't working, but the farm manager is optimistic. The farm is, is looking good because there are yeah, developments that are coming with the government that is trying to help all the farmers, municipality black farmers, is assisting them with the production inputs. So we are in the direction that we believe the farm will be better than this. So the thing about the machinery, it's, it's like a farm. You need to have make profit to maintain your machinery. So what we basically do at Battles there now it's just to maintain the equipment they've got. At this moment, we don't have the financial capacity to go and buy new tractors. 
to buy new spray machines, but that's definitely in our pipeline of the grant funding that we are applying for. The lack of state support and neglect has left the farm and beneficiaries vulnerable and exposed to potential exploitation by Riverside, treating the community members as employees rather than partners. For the farm to be a sustainable project, there needs to be more accountability from all partners involved, especially the government. The state needs to get with the program um, with regard to land reform. Uh, the potential is there. There's very little irrigation irrigated land available in South Africa. It's a, a minuscule percentage of the total land of South Africa. So it's almost a kind of unforgivable sin to be wasting um, opportunities like this in an area where the majority of the people are living in poverty. There's very little agriculture going on. It just seems completely um, unacceptable.